like that. And the entire auditorium erupted. And I literally <laughs> farted right in her ear. I looked back at her as she looked at me with shock and disgust. And then she starts getting water from the toilet oh my and washing her God. face. With it. Oh. And I I'm ready for this. Full on farted in his face. Oh. Breathe out, and I just, you know, breathe out and rip the biggest fart you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> Welcome to No One's Looking, the podcast where you can say whatever, whatever the, the fuck, fuck you want. want. I'm your host, Maggie. And I'm Melanie. And today, we're going to talk about embarrassing stories. Oh my god. <laughs> but Everyone honestly, has done it. Everyone has, ha has an embarrassing story. Everyone does. Everyone does. But the only thing is, you are the one that chooses to be embarrassed about it. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Literally, that's why I'm like, I was trying to pick my brain and think of loads of different embarrassing stories that I would like to share. But honestly, like, I don't get embarrassed that easily. Yeah. Yeah, like, shit happens, but then I'm like, oh, well, it happened. Yeah. I think definitely now that I'm older, I, like, don't get embarrassed. Like, if I fell over or something, like, I wouldn't get embarrassed. No. I'd be like, oh, that's kind of funny. Because, like, if yeah. I saw someone fall over, like, I would probably laugh, but yeah. also make sure they're okay. And, um... But looking back at it, like, at times, where it's, like, you can be embarrassed, but then it still be okay. Like, you can be yeah. embarrassed and then find it funny as well, but still remember, like, your cheeks got hot. Like, that's, that's oh, yeah. what I know. Like, yeah. I've been embarrassed. My cheeks are hot. That's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, no. I have three very distinct stories. All right. Let's are... hear the first one. You want to hear yeah, the first yeah. one? I'm excited. Oh, okay. Let's start with the <laughs> least bad one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Start so, from the beginning. Start from the beginning. It's really not um, that deep. So, <laughs> um, so I, this is when I was a bit younger. I was maybe like 12. 12 okay. 12 years old. And uh, my mom decided to take me to yoga classes. And I went with my cousin. So it was literally me, my cousin, and two other people. Maybe two or three other people and the teacher. So it was yeah. quite like an intimate, small class. And y'all were all young? No. So like... I was maybe I was the youngest and then the okay. other people were kind of like older like you know like trying to take it more yeah, like seriously yeah, yeah. they're doing yoga it was great and it was kind of like I was like oh my god I'm becoming so healthy <laughs> like I'm doing something for myself because I never really did like activities after school that I can remember right mm. now anyway so we're in the yoga class and it's really not that deep I basically um we're doing uh downward dog and she's like you know breathe out and I just you know breathe out and rip the biggest fart you've ever heard in your life <laughs> it just goes <gasps> <laughs> it was so bad that was true embarrassment because yeah. because the worst There's part only was four people. <laughs> everybody heard because the room was small and yeah. and you de they definitely knew where it came from as yeah. well it wasn't like a question of who it was just like a question of why the fuck did no one laugh yeah that was my thing i was like why is no one <laughs> laughing that did okay. you giggle or anything or you, you were just like honestly <laughs> what i thought was i want to get the fuck out of here <laughs> I literally was ready to just like run. get up and run. Yeah. yeah. Just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Just leave all your shit. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Literally not leave everything behind. Nothing matters in this moment. <laughs> I just want to like, not even like the ground to sink. I just want to like be as fast as like Usain Bolt and just fucking get, yeah, get, get out of there. <laughs> just sprint out of the room. Literally, I never went back as well. Aww. That was my last At yoga 12? class as well like you get embarrassed so easily yeah. like yeah i was like it would have been funny if they laughed but it was embarrassing because yeah. nobody did anything they were probably scared to upset you because like as a yoga teacher <laughs> as a 
I have had people, I think it's only happened once that I could hear that there was, there were some that I could smell oh and I was God. like, bitch, like who did this? No, I didn't say that. Imagine. <laughs> What's the smell? <laughs> let's, it address, smells of rotten eggs. let's address the smell in the room. <laughs> who did it? Because <laughs> everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, but I did have, I swear we were doing like a twisting pose and it does help aid in digestion when you do like a twisting lying down pose and someone just went and I was (laughs) but like and so as the teacher you cannot laugh like it's so unprofessional so I had to like walk away and like bite my (laughs) cheeks to like really really try not to laugh because it's like as soon as one person does that's it that's it that's it yeah Oh my god, I'm pretty sure I've been in situations where I've just not been able to stop laughing. Yeah. I do that a lot. We get in trouble a lot, by the way, for laughing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's also <laughs> like, it's a defense mechanism. Like, again, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Yes. So it's like, if something really, like, awkward or uncomfortable happens, it's like an un... Like, if someone's telling me a sad story, sometimes I really have to stifle yeah. laughing. Because I'm not laughing at them. It's just my body's reaction to trauma. <laughs> Yeah, it's and like, it's like laugh. laugh, endorphins, endorphins, hurry, like, she's gonna get depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's just acknowledge prevent, that. Prevent the depression. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, laughing is my way of coping with difficult situations. I, without realizing it, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, because I laugh in really inappropriate moments. Like, yeah. Like, when you just shouldn't be. Yeah. And I'm like... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm laughing. So it's a defense mechanism. <laughs> nothing I'm saying is making this better. <laughs> yeah. There is nothing I can say to make this better. I'm yeah. Right. Um, right. Give me one. Give me one. So following up with that story, because I've almost got one that's related. Um, and just for our younger listeners, if we have any, it does involve some sexual context. <laughs> so I was, I was in a relationship with someone in the states and you know we were like getting at it getting busy getting it getting at it (laughs) getting at At it it. (laughs) and um (laughs) and he decides to you know go down on me you know perform oral Mm -hmm. on on me Mm -hmm. and I was like yeah this is great I'm loving (laughs) okay okay and I'm about to like climax and I I'm ready for this full on farted in his face (laughs) Oh, oh, no. But I'm also in the middle of <gasps> orgasming. <laughs> and he just starts laughing. No. And I'm laughing as well, but also like, oh my God. <laughs> but it was, it was fine because he laughed. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? But it was like that <laughs> moment that it's like burned into my skull that I just maybe, I don't know, I was enjoying it too much. Oh and my I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not. It's just like little... him, he essentially ate your fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm laughing at. Um, among other things, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, but like that's... <laughs> he ate my fart. <laughs> that's what's funny to me. <laughs> yeah, so that was like... And I was still... I think I was maybe like 18. So I was still quite like young Aww. to like, you know, like yeah. everything, life in general. No. But luckily, like he, he was sound and just laughed. And then I laughed and we giggled about it. And it oh was fine. Oh my fine. God, imagine if you... Pretend- Kind of imagine if he went. Imagine something. if he went ill. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I'd be like, oh I'd my like, god, I'm that's so, so sorry. funny. Like, I would just laugh. That's what I mean. That's the thing. It's like shit like that happens. Yeah. Like I, li- you know, I'm so glad that me and Selby have been together for the amount of time that yeah. we have, and like it's really comfortable when we have sex and sometimes I have laughing fits and yeah. I'm just like this is really funny and Same. I can't stop and he's just like crazy Getting old man <laughs> <it. laughs> yeah, he's like I'm just gonna keep going this is just another one of those fits where she's laughing but it's but, like I have a weird thing about not weird but like I love telling jokes during sex like <laughs> it's so weird like but luckily Brody's into it he's like he'll yeah. be like banter and then I'll be like all right we need to stop because I'm starting to laugh too much and yeah. get distracted <laughs> and now I'm like I can't concentrate on the yeah. act so yeah so who can crack the funniest joke in the yeah middle exactly. of it? <laughs> yeah that was quite embarrassing but luckily it played out well like yeah have you had any like really funny like queefs or something I like I can and again you can talk about like 
I've never been good at, like, doggy style, mm-hmm. like, sex. Like, if it's, like, laying down, then it's fine. But if it's, like... <laughs> like a dog. Like, yeah, like, like doggy a... style. I know that's, like... <laughs> On the side. Like... <laughs> From the back. Um, and then it just hurt. it hurts because I oh. feel like air gets, like, pushed in. It kind of does. It does. And it's, like... And I know it's coming as soon as it's, like, oh, let's switch. Here comes the big queen. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. I hope you're ready because yeah. it's a big one. It's I can so feel it funny. in my gut. It's like, yeah. always so funny. And, like, sometimes I'm, like, trying to, like, be, like, stop, stop. And it's, like, oh, no, I just, it's going to be a long one. I'm no, really sorry. No, and it's going to be I like just queef super loud. Like, like super <laughs> fucking loud. Like, and I'm, like, but to thank be fair, God it's Selby and not anybody else Yeah, listening to and this. it's, like, like, it's literally, like, just air being pushed in from you. Like, yeah. it's not my fault. Like, yeah. you're doing this to me. Yeah. But it does kind of hurt. Like, I don't think anyone... I've ever talked about that. It's like, like doing it in that way, and when air gets pushed in, like I, it's kind of painful for me. Like I I'm know. like, ugh. Like I, I, I'm like, too much is getting in. I'm gonna blow up. Like, <laughs> too much air just start floating away. I'm gonna hold it in. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the, it's like, oh, yeah. I need to get screened so she doesn't fall away. Yeah. Oh. oh, she's floating away. We're no, having a good time. That's, <laughs> that's very interesting because you know. A lot of people are like, oh, what's your favorite, like, sex position or whatever? And, like, somebody says, like, doggy style. And I'm like... Mm, that's my queefing style. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't particularly... I don't love it. It's yeah. maybe something, like, once in a blue moon, I'd be like, yeah, let's yeah. try that. But, like, it's never really been yeah. my favorite thing. And I think it is partly because yeah. of the queefing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure... I mean, it does... Fe- I've never... No, I'm not going to say never. I have occasionally, but it's very rare that yeah. I can orgasm from that position. No, like, never. But I think people who, like, orgasm from, like, penetration rather than, like, kind of, like, clitoris or whatever, because there's mm. two different ways. Yeah. Or both, like, if you're a fucking lucky person. But, like... <laughs> like <laughs> you lucky bitch. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that position for me is just, like, a bit meh. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm but, glad. This is, like, because I feel like my opinion was unpopular when it came yeah. to like you know I've, n- I've never I'm sure really, it looks great I'm like, sure I look great from behind but like you know <laughs> no but it's not that yeah. as enjoyable because I always felt like people would always talk about doggy style and that they really enjoy it and I'm like yeah. and I'm do like, you yeah and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like damn I can't relate like yeah and then I, I'm always like well I'm not gonna say I don't relate because we're not talking about me yeah. relating to you or yeah. not do you know what I mean <laughs> they're talking about them enjoying themselves so yeah yeah true. interesting so yeah. Okay, I so you had that. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we discovered that. Yeah, We've never actually nice. like <laughs> nah, sex. Nice. sex. <laughs> we don't like that. Yeah. Good. But I've got um a different type of yeah. cringe. V- the very embarrassing. Okay. I said I don't get embarrassed, but that was very embarrassing. Okay. It wasn't even that long ago. Maybe a few years back. So um my friend from another country was like visiting. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to show her, like, you know, the Edinburgh night life. Yeah. And I was like, cool, okay, I've got her as my, like, kind of... Because I like going out with someone that I know will, like, stick with me for the night, for example. Yeah, of course. Especially, yeah. So, like, because yeah. I've got a boyfriend. Usually, if it's, like, a night out when I, when I was, like, single, then I wouldn't give a fuck because I'm like, I might end up with someone else. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. But with this, I was like, I wanted to have a buddy with me. So, I was like, perfect, got her. So, I got invited to this, like, birthday party. Okay. And so, me and her come to the pre-drinks that was at this person's place and I was like a bit nervous to see the people that had invited me Mm. to the party so we pre-drank at home then we get so I'm already tipsy yeah then we get to the pre-drinks and I keep fucking pre-drinks I'm like double downing like I am downing the drink and I get there and like you know, we're at the place and I'm like, okay, I'm not feeling that drunk. Like, I'm still quite nervous. So yeah. then we get to the club and they had booked like a table mm-hmm. and they, they got bottles and like everything. So I decided to go outside and have like a cigarette and then I get back inside and my head is just spinning. spinning. Like I was like standing and I couldn't, I was just like, it literally was like proper oh, circle. That. So I say to my friend, I'm like, I'm feeling so unwell right now. Like, I, I really need to go. I don't feel well. Yeah. And she's like, oh, no, please, can we stay for a bit longer? And I was, like, literally just sitting there, like, I don't feel it. good. I really don't feel good. And I was like, I'm going to be sick. 
I'm gonna oh, be sick. No. So I grab one of the buckets at the table, the one that had the bottle in it, and I just throw up oh, into it. Oh my god! Did you take the bottle out? I don't know if the bottle. Yeah. I on it. No, in that oh, moment. Oh my no, god! I cannot explain to you how dizzy I was. It was like I wouldn't have been able to comprehend whether there was like a bottle or not <laughs> in it. Like I just <laughs> needed. Into the bottle. I can't believe I even comprehended to throw up <clears throat> into something. I could have yeah. just done it like in front of me, but I was courteous enough. My clean self. <laughs> yeah, so fuck, at to least you it. did it on in, in the, the bucket. bucket. Fuck, that is so, so bad. Yeah. So I throw up at the table into the bucket. And everyone's there, all these people you were Not nervous only to see. were they watching me, yeah. some of them were filming me. Oh, that's so mean. It was ultimate embarrassment, and I just got up and left. I just handed someone the bucket. Ew. I was sick. Yeah. Because they were like, I'll take it, I'll take it, don't worry. Because I was going to go to the bathroom to, like, yeah. finish. Because I sobered up real quick after Bro, that. yeah. And they were like, I'll take it. And I was like, fine, take it. And I literally was just like, <laughs> I'm out of here. Hands down, the most embarrassing oh, moment no. ever. That was so cringe. Like... Girl, learn how to hold your drink. Bro, Do you know what I mean? Sucks. But it's yeah. like because I was so nervous, I guess I drank myself into this. Yeah, and then you like, learned a lesson. Alcohol and then after that, cannot solve your problem. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> essentially, it's like I just shouldn't have gone. Like, why yeah. did I go? But yeah, so that was hands down probably the most embarrassing moment of my life like yeah and i allow it to be embarrassing because again as i was saying it's like a choice yeah <laughs> and no. i choose to be embarrassed about puking that puking in front of a crowd would be so like i'd be like mortified yeah yeah even like puking in front of my like, friends bye. i'm still like oh like bitch come on you, yeah. like you know what happens if you oh. take it too far if selby like <clears throat> say if i'm like we've had like a big night and then I throw up. So, like, recently I've been throwing up if I drink spirits. I'm yeah. fucked. I'm literally fucked. Yeah. So, um, if I if I need to throw up and Selby wants to help me, I'm like, get out! Get out! <laughs> get out of here! Stop! Yeah. And I'm, like, literally, like, get out of here! Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like that. I'm like, you don't need to stay me like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, please don't. I I'll just want to be by I'll myself be in this moment. I want to know that you're morally supporting me and that's all I want. <laughs> no, I've, like... I've been in that, like, I've fallen asleep in a toilet because I was, I, like, I was in Germany and it was quite sad because, like, I blacked out drunk. Like, if I drink too much, I black out. Mm. And I remember going to the bathroom and my friend, I was like, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be like, you know, like, I'm going to be sick. But I couldn't throw up because I was spinning so hard. And I remember just being like, I just need to lay down on this fucking public toilet. Ew. Lay down, <gasps> fell asleep. Yeah, and then my friend, basically, everybody was like, where the fuck is Melanie? Like, we haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> yeah. Like, where is she? And she found me in the stall. Like, this is a fucking good friend. She goes, oh, no, we need to get this out of your system. And she stuck her fingers down my throat and made me throw up. And honestly, I felt so much better yeah, the next do. day. Like, yeah, so I was like... Only a true friend would do that. Oh, girl, I'm sorry, but I would not stick my fingers on Yeah, I don't think... I would think... I would, but I'm glad you did, because yeah. I would have felt horrible the next day, because no, yeah. I still felt hungover, but, like, not as bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, throwing up all, definitely Yeah, helps. and then I started crying, and I was like, oh, it was so dramatic, because I get, like, so, like... Alcohol is, like, a depression for me. Like, if I drink too much where I throw up and start, I'll be like, oh, <laughs> make it strong. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I got my friend really drunk in Russia. <laughs> like, her, so she had a boyfriend that was in the army and he was like so controlling. Yeah. And she wasn't allowed to go on nights out and stuff. Yeah. So, like, when I arrived, I was like, I don't care. Obviously, like, we're going I out. I was like, we're like, going out. What I'm here for. So, I think she was quite grateful that, like, I broke the rules for yeah. her because, yeah, she was under his control all the time. Thank God they're not together anymore. And so we go on a night out and I get her so drunk and we're in the bathroom yeah. stall in the, t like, you know, she's like, I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah. And <laughs> she throws up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So she throws up <laughs> and then we flush the toilet. And then she starts getting water from the toilet oh and washing her face. God. With it. Oh. You're like, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? There's a sink. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, she was so drunk. <laughs> oh. 
there was another one. This I wasn't there for this one. But yeah. it was another girl. And basically she was so drunk that she went to the toilet. And she wiped her vag. Yeah. And then she wiped no. her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so nasty. I'm sorry. She wiped if I her ever mouth. get that drunk and I do something like that, I am never drinking hand. again. I, like, n- uh, uh. It's so oh, bad. Oh my god! I couldn't Poor stop thing. her. I was like, "Stop! Stop!" Oh, she, she was, was like, like mm. <laughs> "No!" She was like washing her face with that fucking toilet water. <laughs> oh man! Honestly, Bro, that's so funny. Thank I, God that wasn't me. <laughs> I know <laughs> that would be bad. I I went out and it was my first ever night out in Edinburgh, and. Um, I was like fresh, fresh, um, kind of like freshly single. And I, I'd met these like random people, like they weren't random. Like I'd met one person before and then he was like, oh, come out. Like it's during the fringe. Let's go out with all my friends. And I was having such a nice time. Like all these people were so nice. And it was my first, it was actually my birthday as well. I forgot about this. And I, yeah, I was just having a great time and I went to this club and it was really hot and I had gone to a shop and I had bought this jumpsuit specifically for my birthday. It was the mm. first time I'd ever worn a jumpsuit and I still to this day like really miss it because it was like purples and just my colors mm-hmm. and, and I was like, I'm looking good, blah, 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 go to this um, club and I'm just dancing and then I hear... <laughs> No. It ripped, like, not like a little rip down my ass. It was like fucking huge. And I'm like with this group of people who I don't know. Like, I don't know these people. So I'm like, okay, uh, Danza, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and just like backwalked. Like, yeah. And I went in the bathroom and I, uh, all these random girls were there. And you know, gr- the bathroom is a safe space yeah. for girls. And I was like, girls, I just ripped my jumpsuit. I was like, is it that noticeable? And they all looked and they were like, yeah, yeah, I'm really sorry. It's yeah. so bad. <laughs> it's like your asshole is on I was show. Like, I was like, I don't know what to do because I was like staying with these people. I didn't have any extra clothes like with me or anything. And um, like I had it back at the place I was staying, but we had planned to stay with one of their friends just to extend the party. But luckily I had a jacket and I was like, what do I do? And they were just like, just you're going to have to tie the jacket around you the whole time. Yeah. And I was, it was so hot in that oh. club as well. And I was just I like, know, like the extra fine. breeze that gets like, through the hole. I know, it's blocked now. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and no one noticed. Oh. No one noticed the whole time. So it's like, thank you, the girls who found me in the bathroom and told me what yeah. to do. Because I don't think, I was so stressed that I don't think I would have thought to do that. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? And then, yeah, so it was fine. So that was like, I feel like that stupid cheap ass <laughs> jumpsuit. Yeah, it was my first time wearing it. And it's like, it wasn't like tight, but it fitted my body like really nicely to where it like, but maybe it was too fucking tight. Oh my God, I was like popping and then it was like, I was like, oh no. Um. It was, it was embarrassing, but luckily no one noticed. So it was fine. Like moonwalked. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to yeah, go to I the bathroom. This. I got this. But yeah. So this story that I'm going to tell you right now, I just remembered it. It's not actually my story, but okay. it was like told to me by one of our friends that you met recently. Yes. The other day. So <clears throat> this, ha- this is in a completely different country. Literally, you would not be able to pin- pinpoint who I'm like talking about. Okay. Anyway, so... Basically, there was a girl and a guy that were dating and they broke up and the guy was a bit of a dickhead to the girl. Yeah. And they worked in this, well, the guy worked in this specific place. I don't want to like say yeah. exactly where. So he worked in this place and the place had a parking lot. Yeah. So she decided as revenge that she was going to shit in the parking lot and leave him. Like basically <laughs> her, <laughs> it was basically like, to say like you're a shithead yeah so like i'm gonna shit in your workplace and yeah. it's gonna be like public you're the only thing is though <clears throat> as she took her pants down to do the sh- the shit the guard caught her their security like the there. security guard caught oh, her oh no not only did he catch her in person in the act of in the middle of the act oh my god but they also got it all on camera she didn't think it, it. She didn't think at all. No. Oh my god! Imagine everyone, because surely everyone watched it. And she, 
and it's like a really oh. small town. <laughs> it's like a little town where everybody knows each other. Oh my god! So they nicknamed her the Shitter, <laughs> and she, oh apparently, ever since it's stuck. Like she is now the Shitter. Like, but like imagine. See, this is why revenge is just so so stupid. Because then revenge you're just bitch. like she revenge yeah. bitch. But she like, but like she just basically karmered herself. Like yeah. it's like oh my god. But I would never. So the thing like, is, like, shit? when he told me that yeah. story, I thought, fucking hell, like, that is a lens and it, that is, like, I would never think of anything Hating like that. Hating someone so but, much to shit on yeah. their... But I thought, what would be a smarter way to do that if you were to be that shit petty? And do... No, I thought, <laughs> wouldn't it... I mean, no, no, if we were talking the exact same circumstances, if she wanted to leave a shit in front of... Like, in the parking lot. Yeah. She could have, like, gone and collected a bunch of shit if she wanted to do that. <laughs> but, like, taking her pants down... Collecting a bunch do you, of shit. <laughs> she, she could have just shat, shat on his car, like, at his house or something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, like not in, like, a workspace. Like, I feel like you're not only... Like, like someone's going to have to clean that. Like, yeah, you know, it's not going to be him so cleaning it. Disgusting. Like, you didn't think about this. Next time you want to do this, like, let's have a chat first. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine but you get also, to work and you're like... Yeah, that was my ex. Yeah. That... Yeah, she shot right there. <laughs> like, ew. I would, like, I, mm-mm. I mean, it is ultimate disrespect, shitting. <laughs> like, like if... Lolly shitting on my bed. Yeah. Like... My cat, <laughs> my cat, my mum's cat, sorry. She stayed, She's Melanie scary. was here when this happened, but um, my mum went on holiday and I had to look after her cat and she is such a spiteful little bitch. Yeah. She jumped up onto my bed and she left the crispest, biggest <laughs> shit I have ever seen. It almost looked like a human boot. Bro, she is so scary then, though. I've never met a cat like that before in my life. Bro, and I was like, I'm going to check like if her toilet is clean because maybe that's why she did that. Yeah. It was freshly clean. She like, pissed. It was, <laughs> she, in my, no, if she had no. pissed, I would have booted her out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> But yeah. like, yeah. Cannot believe. Ultimate disrespect. Ultimate disrespect, yeah. for sure. I mean, like, I get where she was coming from. I don't know what he did to make you feel like that. You should shit there. But, like, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry she, you had to do that. She, I mean, imagine. Somebody will have that archive, that tape. Yes. Yeah, and be like, oh, yeah, do you want to watch the shitter again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, remember when she took oh, down her Christmas pants? Oh, Christmas party, and let's get it up on. <laughs> <laughs> That would be so funny. But also that like that shame. I would have to move. I would have to literally yeah, move. I can't believe she stayed in no, that town. I'd be like, okay, bye. No, I would never do She's like, that. She's like, I choose not to that. be embarrassed. <laughs> it's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm not embarrassed. Like, imagine though. Like No. That's <laughs> no, I don't I honestly cannot think of anything. Like, no matter how bad something... No. I would never do... I no. Would never, that would never cross my mind. Or let me, me just I'm shit like, in a parking lot. I will ghost lot. you. I'm like... Yeah. 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 I, um, I've um, i got the story of my first embarrassment. Okay, go yeah. for it. I was... <laughs> the story. The story. And it's still burned in my skull because it happened when I was a freshman in high school. And I swear it was the first week of high school or two weeks into high school and there was this guy that I had such a big crush on as well and he was I think he was either two years or a year but I think he was two years above me mm. and so you don't when you go into high school like you don't know anyone you're like meeting all these like older kids that like you know you don't have a reputation you're kind of like you know yeah new. you're the new kids so at my school in the States, we had a massive auditorium and it had a basketball court in the middle and it was just huge. So the entire school could fit into this auditorium, yeah. mm -hmm. um, typical American kind of thing. And we had what I, I know it's called something else out here in the UK, but it's called ROTC in America, mm -hmm. where it's like a military club in schools. I know Selby, um, your he partner. Went, yeah, went he went to, to the OTC. OTC. So it's called ROTC. And what they would do to try to recruit people, especially like freshmen and everything, is they would have little fitness challenges mm. in the auditorium whenever, like, whenever everybody is in the morning, because that's where you go. You go in the morning to your auditorium, and most of the time, 
they would only have everyone's grade in each auditorium. Yeah. But today, they decided to, like, for some reason, they had the whole, like, school in the auditorium. And so me being like I was very sporty and I was like yeah and they were like who wants to do this like relay race challenge and I was like fuck yeah me like I'll do it and I was doing it with one of my (laughs) friends and so essentially it's like you had this like staff and they had like teachers kind of like helping regulate it and stuff and someone would run up the length and down of the auditorium and then pass the staff and the next person would do it and then you are doing a race next to another group of people or two other groups and So it comes to my turn. And beforehand, I thought, everyone's here. Like, I want to win this. Like, I'm I'm quite competitive. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to win this. (laughs) How can I run the fastest I could possibly run? I was like, well, obviously I'll keep my socks on because then that will make me run faster. Okay, no, I'm. Like, Your teachers are dumb for letting you do that. Yeah, because that's so slippery as as fuck. Basketball court. Like, no, that's do dangerous. Not? You could literally break your head, like. Bro, so I'm fucking, I'm like, you getting know, the it. guy The guy comes and he passes it to me and I'm fucking getting it. Like, I'm running. <laughs> and I get to like halfway, halfway court. And I, that's when I start to get the wobbles and I start like kind of falling forward. Oh, and no. I'm trying to catch myself. It was like a cartoon, like trying to catch myself. And they had a teacher at the bottom of the court to make sure everyone made it to the bottom line. And he was the baseball coach as well. And I fucking slid on my stomach all the way to the bottom of the court. And he comes up and he goes, crosses his arm and he goes, safe, like that. And the entire auditorium erupted. Like I'm on the ground. Because obviously it looked like I fucking slid to a base. Yeah. And... Bro, I'm like 14 at the time. Do you oh, know? Freshman. My God. This is my first impression into the whole school. And then not only that, I had to run all the way back. No, fuck that. I'd be like, Because you done. couldn't walk. Like, because then that would have been worse. So I fucking like, like it with my socks on still. And I had to run all the way back Aww. to the bottom of the other court. And my I just remember my face being like blood red. And then the guy that I had a crush on as well, when we were all leaving, I was like, fucking no one look at me. No one talked to me, blah, blah, blah. And everybody was laughing, like, you know, kind of making fun of me and stuff. Aww. And the guy I had a, cr- a crush on, he goes, oh, hey, graceful. And I was like, oh, my Aww. heart broke. <laughs> but yeah, that was like full on embarrassed myself. Like somebody... Somebody there will have this memory of me of watching me just fucking deck it and then slide. Because <laughs> it was so slippy that I just slid for ages on my stomach. I like penguin slid. I like, yeah. Oh, it was so embarrassing. That teacher, though. Safe. He was actually <laughs> such a great teacher. Like, he was also my math teacher. Like, so it's, yeah, that's why. And, um, like, yeah, so... I mean, comedic timing for him, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Like, it's the funniest thing you could have done. Yeah. But also, it just, like, every, like the whole, everybody was laughing the whole time I was running back, and I was like, Aww. I'm literally going to die. Like, yeah. But, yeah, like, at it's, the time when everybody else is laughing, they don't actually think, yeah. like, oh, Melanie. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? They're just like, that was really funny. Yeah, like, it, <laughs> it was very funny, like, looking back at it, but I was like, Jesus Christ, the worst part was having to run all the way back. Like <laughs> they should have I think like the right thing to do yeah. would have been one to make sure that whoever's running is not wearing socks because that's dangerous yeah. you could have split your head open I like know. the funniest thing did happen yeah but like from an adult perspective that's very dangerous that they I let know. you do that and like yeah. yeah and then from second I think <laughs> what the adult should have done was not make you run back like they yeah. should have just been like safe like made laugh yeah. and then been like the is she were okay as well like everyone was it laughing. It also just looked really Yeah, because funny. I wasn't hurt. Like I'd literally fallen in the most like the silliest way yeah. ever. Like just slid for ages and then I stopped at the most perfect point. It like felt like a movie. And I was just like, <laughs> I can't I can't believe it. This is my like first week in high school and then everyone's gonna Aww. bully me. <laughs> like yeah. Oh my god, I have a fucking <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly yeah okay another, mine is like a primary school one mm. and it was when I learned some a big lesson yeah <laughs> so I, I was standing and 
<clears throat> it was when I was like still learning English and stuff mm -hmm. and yeah so basically we were just like in the playground and we'd been you know running around whatever yeah and we had these like lines so when whenever the bell for a break was like over yeah the bell would go and you have to like line up yeah yeah, yeah. did you do that as well mm -hmm. yeah and then your teacher comes and gets you and then you go inside mm -hmm. like for your class so I was kind of like lingering around the area where we had to just like wait for our class to line up yeah because I was kind of like done running around or whatever so and I really needed a fart <laughs> <laughs> and I was smelling so I literally just like stood there and I thought if I just stand here and I do it, we're outside and it's all good. Yeah. Okay, so then literally the bell goes and then this guy runs up to me and he was like, Ew, did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> like, because we're flustered. Because <laughs> I was like, everyone can fucking smell it now. Yeah. And that's when I learned that you have to move around when you do shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> just running yeah. I'm just running I should have done a run and farted to like let the <laughs> smells like dissipate everywhere <laughs> but no away. I just fucking stood there and allowed the smell to just linger around my <laughs> around right. me so then everybody fucking knew it was me that's so funny oh I was so sad what a moment <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's like when no. people people do that in a yoga class and you just like know it's coming from a specific area Aww. and you're just like, can you Aww. stop? Like, it's I know you can't so... help it, but just like, don't. it smells so bad. I can't tell people to breathe in <laughs> or focus on your breath while someone's fucking taking <laughs> a shit in the middle of class. Oh, no, that's just so <laughs> bad. Literally. Yeah. Okay. This is just like a wee one. Recently went on vacation with some friends and a mutual friend who I don't know that well. Him and I took the pull-out couches and his was right next to the bathroom. Later one night when we were all walking around from our hotel, I got the stomach rumbles. Then the nausea hit. I have never felt so sick in my life. It felt like someone was grabbing my insides and twisting them. The second we got back to our hotel, I made a beeline for the bathroom through that paper thin wall, this guy I barely knew heard me shitting out pure liquid, <laughs> complete with loud and wet farts, me crying and then vomiting <laughs> into a trash can in front of me. I spent the rest of the night shivering in bed and making runs to the bathroom. I hit the been married for a decade barrier with them in one single night. Yeah. <laughs> so it is so sad, especially if it's not someone you know. Like, no. even if it was, like, Brody, like, I'd be like, fuck off. Like, I'm, Go. I'm dying in here. No, I would find that very emba embarrassing. Like, I mean, I shit in a bag once, so if you haven't heard that, <laughs> like, check out, you know, our second to last episode or something like that. I can't remember. That was episode 17. Um, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to hear that embarrassing story, yeah, it was mortifying. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, that actually, I've had something like that happen to me yeah. as well. Thankfully, there was, I was in the privacy of my, privacy, privacy of my own home. Yeah. Um, But Selby was here and I literally, it was after a night out and I, I was like, I need to go to the toilet. Like, I I woke up with the, like, the midnight sweat. Like, uh, ever gotten that after, like, Yeah, an yeah. So I woke up and I was like, oh my God, oh, I don't feel good. Yeah, no. Went to the bathroom and then, you know, did a, did a number two, did a big fat shit. And then <laughs> I was like, I really don't feel better at all. If anything, I feel worse. Yeah. And I was like, I think I'm going to be, Bleh! and I start throwing up. I literally Ugh. just like, and I'm still on the toilet. Like I just done like, <laughs> like huge shit. And now Shitting I'm throwing it. up into the bath and Ugh. I'm like. Oh my god, it was the worst. Literally coming out both ends. Yeah, oh. it was so bad. And yeah. I'm like, it wasn't even like food poisoning or anything like that. It was just too much drink. So I totally relate to that girl, but thankfully it wasn't. It would have been mortifying if, if it was so like on holiday and you're sleeping next to someone. Someone you don't know as well. No, that'd be the worst. Yeah. It would have been nice if she ended the story with, and now we're married. <laughs> Like, that would have been nice. I just remember something. <laughs> when I was younger, it was my first time ever going to the tan in bed. Yeah. Oh, my God. And this was, like, I lived in Mississippi, which was in the fucking country, like, redneck country. Like, you know, this tan in bed was, like, I swear, in the back of a gas station. <laughs> like, like and my sister brought me, and she's older, so I think, oh, she knows, like, you know, she's going to take me to my first experience. And 
Well, this fucking tanning bed didn't have an automatic timer because it's so, like, like yeah, just shit. <laughs> And oh, they like ratchet. <laughs> yeah, and like I fall asleep in this tanning bed. I fall asleep, and I don't. I like honestly, laying down. Yeah, and I have no idea how long I was in there, but I was fucking lobster red, like so barbecued. And then did your sister not think why? What is she doing? Uh, well, I, like no one really thought. And then I came out, and I was like, <laughs> like so red. And then I, like, I was like, mom, please don't make me go to school. Please don't make... And then she made me go to school. And I just oh got... Oh, it was so embarrassing. I was so sunburned. Like, I was just like... But it wasn't like... It wasn't like peeling or anything. Well, it did peel. But it was just like red. Like, I was fucking red. Oh it was so bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got ripped in half for that. Wait, but you grew up in a really sunny state. Yeah. So why people do you go people to still bed? go to the tanning bed. Oh god. Cuz yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like it's like a cultural controlled thing. I was like it's yeah, like a controlled, like controlled environment. environment. Yeah, like everyone did that. Oh. Yeah, which now looking back at it, I'm like, why did we do that? Because why did it's we sunny pay for sun <laughs> when you can get it for free? Yeah, but it's also like very like humid as well so mm. it's like unless you're by like a pool or you have a pool that's kind of like the only way you can really yeah, go yeah so out you can dip in and like whereas like i remember one time like tanning on like the roof of like a building my mom had on her property and there was like fucking our vultures are massive and i had one like circling on top of me i was like oh no that's me done i'm going inside now because oh i lived God. in the woods <laughs> like yeah oh my God. get attacked by a vulture Fuck. But, yeah. but the tanning like what's it called i've had a severe um like sunburn before like yeah. when I was I was um on holiday in Vietnam and basically we we decided to go on this boat tour where we just like drank loads and yeah. you know when so at the time I thought that the best way to tan would be not using any sun cream oh, no. so I went in the water so I was literally water makes you tan more because yeah. of the shimmer and the light. And also I was like cool, so I yeah. couldn't feel the heat mm -hmm. on my body. And it was like the guy who was a local was getting sunburned. So oh. if he was getting sunburned and he's used to it, yeah. I was getting fucked. Blistered. But I was also getting alcohol fucked. Yeah. So I literally you can't feel shit. Couldn't feel anything. So then I, we end the tour, we're walking back, I fall over, I burst my knee, like Ooh, it was like all yeah. bleeding. And I was just like, Ooh, you know, and then I get home and I had a fit. Like I literally oh had, God. like I, I lay in bed and I was like shivering. You had like sun sickness. Like I got a proper like sunstroke. Oh my like God. I was like proper having a fit. Like, oh my God. And then, and then, um, my skin started to bubble. Ew. And there was... My sweat wouldn't leave. Like, I wouldn't sweat. I would... The sweat got trapped under my skin. So I, I had to, like, rub my skin to release Ugh. the sweat. And, like, I had, like, these awful blisters. Oh and, like, my God. massive, like... Yeah, blisters all, all over my face. So yeah. I had to wear a mask. Like, you know how now we have to wear a mask because yeah. of a, an illness? Well, yeah, no, I wore the mask because I needed to protect my face from the sun. Oh, so, best. like, for the rest of the trip, I had to wear head to toe. I had to be covered. Yeah. I could only have my eyes out to see. But, like, I had, like, a cap on, my mask everything covered wow and then i wore this like black top and i was waiting for my friends like under this umbrella yeah and this lizard climbed up on me because <laughs> it thought i was like i wasn't moving it was so scary yeah but yeah it was so bad worst and then after that i learned to use some cream yeah oh my god but yeah some stroke it was really bad and like ugh it was just that sounds horrific the blistering and the sweat that sounds so yuck. oh it was so bad and yeah. then literally like the worst part of it was I didn't get a tan. The burn <laughs> just it like off all your skin. it just peeled off. So now even You're now like a lizard that been, lizard was like one of us. Yeah, it's just peeling. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and I kept peeling my skin back. And it was just my face. You should have seen my face. Yeah, it was so bad. I peeled it, and it was like brown over here and like white over oh, here. Oh no! I have pictures. Ew. We can insert some. Mm -hmm. I literally have. Pictures of the progression of how it was happening. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was disgusting. No, that sounds horrific. <laughs> Ugh. I've got a long one. 
And it's it's worth it. Okay. Okay. In high school, the homecoming dance was coming up. I happened to confide that I had a crush on a popular girl to another girl in my math class. Unbeknownst to me, they were very good friends, and this girl offered to put in a good word for me. The next day, she told me my crush totally said would say yes if I asked her. So in between periods, I found my crush in the hallway, asked her to homecoming, and she said yes. Booyah. Oh, nice. Well... Homecoming is on Saturday. Today is Thursday. My crush, her friend, and I go to lunch together, and I offer to pay in the hopes that this will make her like me more. She tells me she wants two bags of chips, burger and fries, and a small carton of chocolate milk. No problem. I go to the cafeteria and get get those items like a boss. For some reason, I decided to jog over to her, even though that really only saves like 10 seconds from my trip. I have two bag of two bags of chips in my mouth, one hand with a burger and fries, and the other hand with a carton of chocolate milk. The girls are sitting in the common room area. The common area is carpeted adjacent to the cafeteria, which has a tile floor. These rooms are separated by a relatively small me- metal line on the floor. As I meet that line, my f- left foot catches on the metal. No problem, I have another foot. I will just swing that foot forward real quick and save this. No, the other foot also catches. As I fall straight forward, I instinctively try to catch myself with my hands. Well, one hand has chocolate milk in it, which promptly bursts, sending chocolate milk in every direction. Oh my, God. my other hand didn't help me either, slips on the burger in the bag, and the fries go all over the place. The last thing to break my fall is my own face. (gasps) The face with two bags of chips in my mouth. And you know the joke about Lay's chips, like a bag of chips being filled with air. Well, this is true. As my face collided with the ground, both the bags of chips exploded at the same time. It sounded like a gunshot. Somehow, one of my shoes flew off as well. I tried to melt into the floor and fade out of existence for a moment, (laughs) then peeled my chocolate milk and chip-soaked face off the ground. This happened at the meeting point of the common room and the cafeteria, so everyone in both rooms saw or heard the fiasco and looked over, about a hundred students. It's deadly silent for another couple seconds, and then the laughter began. Dear God, the laughter. It was like a jet engine. Every person there was laughing the hardest they have ever laughed in their whole lives. I saw the janitor double over laughing, bracing himself with a mop handle. (laughs) A teacher was trying to walk over to help me, but she stopped every couple of feet to use her whole body to laugh at me. All of this happens not 10 feet away from the table in which my crush and her friends are sitting. Everyone is having a great laugh, but my crush has the greatest laugh of all. She has fallen to the ground with one hand bracing herself on her knees. The other hand is clutched at her ribs as she laughs so hard that no sound comes out, wheezing like an asthmatic dolphin. (laughs) Beautiful writing. I know. There is no recovery from this. I walk to the bathroom to clean myself up. The teacher could only manage to hand me my shoe along the way and continued laughing. In the bathroom, the laughter didn't die down at all for what seemed like an eternity. When the bell rang, I was still in the bathroom and people were still laughing. While I spent the whole day wallowing in in easily the most embarrassing moment of my life, I thought, well, maybe I'm the funny guy now and she will like that. The next morning, I see my crush before class and she walks up to me. She says, so homecoming is tomorrow. Eager to totally not talk about the shit show yesterday, I just excitedly said yes. Yes, yes, yes it is. She then delivers a crisp. So this guy that I actually like asked me to go to the dance, so I'm going to go with him. To which I replied, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I totally did not go in the bathroom and cry after. Oh, that's so mean. She's so mean. That's stupid. <laughs> but that's the, stupid the way, of her. The like, way he described his fall was just b- poetic. Know. Yes, it like, was. Because those embarrassing moments are burned into your mind. Like, they are. What the f- Yeah, and then, like, yeah, so then he didn't 
I can't him. believe she didn't go to prom with him. Uh, don't yeah, tell homecoming. Him. Eh. I mean, yeah, homecoming or whatever because yeah. of that. Was it because of that? Yeah. I, well, I mean, he says maybe because of that, but also it could have been just because of a guy she actually liked asked her. So, but it's just the timing for that poor oh, wee boy. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> but also, <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine like you just trip and then there's just like, chocolate milk Everywhere. like fries burgers like i tripped and slid and i was embarrassed like i wasn't a mess yeah but like he was a full on he was like my chocolate milk face. i would just look i would look around and be like who's gonna help me yeah <laughs> excuse me who's volunteering to help me right now <laughs> like like Damn. that time when i fell on the tram and yeah. dropped all my groceries yeah i tripped fell ripped my leggings and all i looked around for was Who's going to laugh and who's going to help me? Yeah. None of those things happen. I feel like if you're going to laugh at someone in public for falling, then you have to help them. You have like, to you help. have to. But then in your case, people Everyone, didn't laugh. No, and they just were just staring as if I was, I did it on purpose and it was weird. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I tripped and fell when I was like doing, like coming back from school, like picking up my kids. And I had like my, the kids' scooters and I tripped over the scooter and I fell hard. And... Like, I was on the pavement. Like, there's, it's not a big pavement. Parents were just stepping over like, me. Like, oh. Like, God. as if I had done it you, on purpose. Your attention and seeker. I, like. <laughs> bro, I had a bruise. Like, I swear, like, that big on my, like, like chin. It was huge. Like, a, like a good foot long bruise. Because I fell so hard on that fucking stupid scooter. Oh, my God. And people just walked <laughs> yeah, over me. Yeah. Like, and people just stepped over Ugh. me. And I was like. The peasant. I was like, she I, fell. Didn't, I didn't really care. I was laughing. and But, like, even the kids were like, are you okay? Like, it's so <laughs> embarrassing when someone doesn't laugh. Yeah. Or doesn't try or and come Or doesn't and help. help. Like, yeah. So cringe. This one time, I was, like, <laughs> messaging this guy. And I really liked him. And, I, and um. He was like, do you want to go on a walk? And I was like, yeah, let's go on a walk. Mm. And like, we'd been talking for a while. So I was like really excited to like yeah. meet him. So it was kind of like winter-ish time. And it was kind of like slippery, rainy, you know. <laughs> and I see him across the street and I'm like, hi. Yeah. And I literally start lightly jogging. Yeah. Oh, she getting it. <laughs> And I slip and just fall, like, hard on oh, my face. No. And I just had to get up and laugh and just be like, Did he help right. you up? No, because it kind of was happening across the road from yeah. where he was. <laughs> and he was just like, holy shit. That's so funny. I think that kind of put him off a little bit. Like, we oh, didn't... no. <laughs> we didn't end up dating. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, bitch, you clumsy. Yeah, he was like, fucking hell. I ain't hell. got time for that Can't even life. cross the road on a road. Bro, do you remember... <laughs> Um, so this one, I don't actually know what the story is about, but oh, I'm fine. just going to like, just read it. Yeah. Um, I was at an NFL game and something I had ate earlier just wrecked my stomach and left me with horrible gas. Like the kind which clears a room. It is so bad. I was walking up the stairs to my seat mid game and really had to let one rip. Right then the crowd cheered and I thought the moment was right. Then, um, what I didn't realize is that my ass was at the same level as a woman sitting in her seat on the aisle. And I literally <laughs> farted right in her ear. I looked back at her as she looked at me with shock and disgust. I, I quickly turned away and climbed the stairs as fast as I could and blended into the crowd. I still oh. think about her time to time and, and how horrible that must have truly been for her and just cringe at what an I, what an idiot I was. <laughs> when, like a stranger just farting in your ear. Ew. And she was like shocked and disgusted Bro, at the same time. I was walking to your house on your street and I'd like on the pavement and there was these two old guys and they just walked past me and I was like la da almost to your flat and one of the guys just farted so loud <laughs> and for so long <laughs> and I just had to be like oh. <laughs> I just like kind of like sped walk away to, so I could laugh oh my god it's so funny it's like you think that they were like gonna hit on your or something yeah, but you're like you no fart. people let one rip <laughs> super loud out. I oh farted in a stranger's ear. <laughs> you imagine? Oh my!
my god, oh, that's the, so funny. It's the perfect moment. Everybody's cheering. cheering. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what Bro, that's so funny. I love that he left and blended into the crowd. <laughs> I can't be it seen again. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I must go. Oh my god, that's so me, funny. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was one of his. <laughs> Please tell me you've seen that. What is that? Oh my god, you haven't seen it. It's like when the mom mom walks into the room and goes, "Who's left up in that shop?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> and hasn't hasn't he flushed it yeah, or something? Yeah, that's so funny. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Well, it was fucking one of his. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro, kids be like that though. Like I well, think that's what... shit, not flush it. Yeah, they just forget they want to get out of there as fast as they can. Oh, like, do you know what I mean? The girls were so scared in the video. They were like, it wasn't me, oh, I promise. Wasn't. It was girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It I haven't was... seen that for a very long time. It's such gold. Like it's just oh. one of those videos that never gets old, you know? Yeah. yeah. But my cheeks are just like this is fun. More <laughs> more embarrassing stories, I I think, in this moment. Um, <laughs> in this moment. moment, in this moment, right yes. in this moment, this one's silly. <clears throat> so, I've got another one. I don't know if it was more cringeworthy than embarrassing, but thinking back, I definitely grimace. I was in kindergarten and was playing in the sandbox at recess one day with my friend. We were at we were making sandcastles, but didn't have any sand that was wet enough to form a solid structure. I had been holding my pee for a while, and being five years old, I didn't want to stop playing, so I just let it out while I was sitting and promptly let my friend know that I had magically found some <gasps> wet sand that we could build with, and no one was the wiser. We built a damn good castle, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That I is love, so funny. I love how kids are like, I found some. Yeah, I magically found some pea sand. Yeah, I found some wet sand. <laughs> yeah, like, that's funny. But imagine, like, being older. You're like, yeah, that just didn't age well. That story. Like, imagine a grown-up. being like, oh, you need some wet, wet sand? sand? I'm just going to pee on <laughs> Just wait. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> the logic, though, behind it is the, just the funniest bit. I magically I found some, some wet, some wet sand. sand. Another one. When I was 16, I went to water park with slides and pools and all with my uncle and two younger cousins. I wore a regular bikini and went swimming in some pools with my cousins for about 40 minutes. When we went to this big slide thing and after we went to this big slide thing and after that we got in line to do an even bigger one with my uncle too. As I'm standing in line, I hear some teenagers laugh behind me. And I turn around to see one of them pointing at me and quickly stop as they saw me staring back. I then looked down. I had wet, I had bits of wet white toilet paper all down my Aww. leg. When I was a teenager, I used to always fold toilet paper and put it in my underwear to prevent discharge from staining my underwear. Yeah. I must have done it automatically and forgot I was wearing a bathing suit. Aww. I have never felt so exposed and ashamed in my life. There wasn't just a little bit. And when I started trying to get it off, but there was always more. Aww. I tried to play it cool as I was chatting to my uncle. And I know for a fact he noticed because he always notices little things. But thankfully, he never said a word. We are not that close, which made it all more awkward, along with the fact I was touching my crotch way too much. <laughs> I was paranoid for the rest of the day that there would be more. I'd just be like, can I, do you mind if I just pop to the bathroom again? Yeah, but when you're like little like that, you don't really think. Yeah. Oh, that's That is sad. quite, that's quite embarrassing. Like I, like I remember being on a water slide, like I went with my friends, like I wasn't with like my family or anything. It was just a big group of friends going to the water park. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing a bikini and I went down this big slide and right towards the end, my entire top came off. Like, like the whole thing came off. Like, and I'm probably like 16, do you know, at the time. Yeah. All my friends had already gone. So they were all waiting at the bottom for me. <gasps> and then you get splashed into this big pool and I'm like holding my boobs and everyone's laughing at me, trying to fucking fish out my top. And it's like, it's not that embarrassing now if that happened to me. Yeah. But at the time I was like, oh my God, oh, yeah. dude, look at me. <laughs> no, I had that when I was like in the sea. And yeah. then this like random stranger just came and pulled my, sh the string. Bro, that's not okay. As in like, and then my, my top, yeah, yeah, my top came off and I was like, 
I don't have boobs, so yeah. he didn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, but that, what the fuck? She That's saw so my weird. chest. But like, yeah, I was like, what That's, the fuck? You still wanna, you still wanna protect your little nipples? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's like, not I okay. Co- what cover the fuck? up? Like, I've been like, pow, right in the face. Yeah, it was yeah. common. That happened to me a lot. I had really? to like, yes. Yeah. Because they're probably like, ha ha, you don't have boobs. No. <laughs> some guys are gross. I mean, like, I'm sure some girls are, but, like, some guys are just gross. They, yeah, just yeah. like, that's why I always, I would always get, like, paranoid about wearing, I would have to, like, double tie it. Yeah. And on the top as well. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. And yeah. they're way more comfortable than the ones that, like, clip together in the back. Yeah. Because then you can't tighten it if it's too loose yeah. or something. Like, you can't adjust it. Yeah, so you just have to make sure you double it. Yeah, I feel like that's happened to me. Or or I've had, like, a guy pop my bra strap from behind. You ever had some, a guy like do that? Like that, and then yeah. it comes off? Yeah, no, no, not, not your strap, like, the back of it. Like, <gasps> pull it back, and it pops you in the back. Oh, I've had someone no. do that to me before. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's cruel. But I, I once asked one of my guy friends to kick me in the crotch just to see what it felt like. That's, it's sore. It's so sore. It's not Because <laughs> nice. guys always complained about it. And I was like, well, I don't know what it felt like. And he did. And I was like, Jesus. Ow. <laughs> yeah. He my... didn't do it that hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. But it was really funny. Like, thinking about it, it was like, I was such an idiot. Kick me in the crotch. Yeah. No, yeah. I used to do stupid shit I remember all the being, time. like, so drunk. And I swear it was, like, one of my first times ever drinking. And I was like running, like everyone had a house <laughs> running. running and fucking grass being all like, well, I'm <laughs> drunk, I'm like 15. And I tripped and fell into a fire ant pile, but I'm drunk. So I don't feel the millions of ants biting the fuck out oh, of my arm. Oh my God. And then I realized, I'm like, ow, like something that, and I realized I'm covered in fucking ants. <gasps> and my friend who was with me as well, he had fallen into the same ant ball and he, but not as bad as me. Like my hand must have went boom, right in it. And I genuinely had scars on my arm because Ew. like, I don't know if you've ever been bitten by like fire no. ants. It's, no, oh my God, it is not so bad. People did yeah. that as a challenge. No, that's like normal where I'm from there's fire ants everywhere like ant piles and stuff and like oh yeah it's like I had it all, like from my elbow down I had like bites everywhere and I remember being like wearing like hoodies to school because I was like so embarrassed because of my fucking disgusting pussy arm because oh. it like they puss up and stuff yeah well but yeah that was stupid this is a wee bit of a longer one but it's good my sophomore year of high school I had a crush on a girl that I had a class with We talked a few times, but I didn't know her that well. It was around Valentine's Day, and our school did a thing where you could pay $10, and student volunteers would go and sing a song you picked in class to whoever you picked and give them a card. So instead of approaching her like a normal person for a date, I I decided to go with singing Valentine, and I plucked down my $10, signed up, and started getting extremely nervous about the day. That afternoon, I told my friend what I had done, and he started laughing and laughing, more than if he were just laughing at a bad idea. Finally, he told me that the girl had a boyfriend, and he was a senior, and I was an idiot. The next morning, I explained the situation to a friend of mine that was involved in the program, and after he finished laughing, he told me it was too late, singing assignments were out, and it was going to happen regardless. My only hope was that since singers and times are limited, they wouldn't get to mine, which is a thing that would happen and you would get your $10 back and I wouldn't be humiliated. So our class together rolls around, which of course I had sent it to that one that I was in with her. I started watching the clock. A couple other people got the singing Valentine's, but with 10 minutes left, mine still hadn't come. Then the door opened, and instead of the one person with a boombox we normally had there, there were three. One guy, one was the guy I had begged to cancel it, who gave me the biggest smile as they set up. Oh my god, what a prick. (laughs) Now song options had been limited. This was before streaming existed, so it was only just what they happened, what they had on CDs. I honestly didn't know most of the songs and didn't want to go sappy, so I just went with the higher tempo song I knew, Wild Thing. Do you know that? Wild Thing, you make my heart sing. (laughs) (laughs) So they announced who the Valentine was for, and she blushed. I'm, I'm sure assuming it was from her boyfriend. They started singing, and she blushed harder. 
They handed her the card that I had written my name in and her face stopped being pink and went far more red. She looked over at me and all I could do was shrug. After they left, she said out loud, but, but I have a boyfriend and looked directly at me. So then everyone knew it was me who had sent it to her. I just muttered that I found... Yeah, literally. I just muttered that I found out too late and happy Valentine's Day and I'm sorry. This was the most embarrassed I'd ever been. The end. I was like, yeah. Looking back, the correct play would have been to tell her before class what had happened, tell her to pretend it was her boyfriend. So if you ever find yourself in a situation, I guess that's what you do. That's... Last week yeah, later. but when you're younger, you would not think that. You'd be like, I just want I it know. not to happen. I just, I would probably sit there and hope, just like hope and pray. The whole class would be like, yeah. Jesus Christ, I will believe in you if this happens. <laughs> <laughs> God, I will do anything. I will literally yeah. do anything you tell me to do. Like, please, please, like, please, will, please, 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 like, please. I will literally, I would make up a fucking prayer, a mantra. <laughs> I would repeat that to myself. I am, I'm not present. I am not here in this moment. Like, I yeah. don't know what I would do, but I would be like, just that is so crazy. No, I could not handle that. That's but the so girl as funny. well, she seemed to be she very embarrassed. Like, but she, I have a boyfriend. I know, like, it's like, <laughs> bro, you didn't have to say that in front of everyone. <laughs> like, they could have just assumed it. It was like, then the whole class knew that it was him. And he was like, to be fair, he kind of played it off quite cool. Like, Meh. Meh. I don't know. Sorry. Happy round day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bro, I thought that was so fun. Did you have that in school? Where you, on Valentine's Day, like we had like roses, I feel like you could buy and then they would come and deliver them. I think like, so. Flowers. I think we might have had something like that. You paid like two quid, I think ten dollars, but steep. Yeah, I mean if but... they are performing, it's probably <laughs> I was like, they are performing. But we had like, like two quid and I think you might have been able to buy like a rose or something. Yeah. And they go around and like give them out. But yeah, that's... I would buy it for my friends though. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's yeah. what I think people did. But I don't distinctly remember. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's so embarrassing, though. Like, I could not. But, I mean, like, the fact that he bought it in general is just like, oh, what's a romantic? But also, bro, speak like, to her first. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, a freaking boyfriend. Yeah. No, like, he was, he couldn't have Yeah, known. and then he said as well that, like, obviously they never got together and now they're both, like, happily married. Like, oh, so like, you yeah. read, like, after Yeah, 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 that. yeah. Like, he um said more and basically said, like, you know, they never ended up getting married. Like, he never heard from that boyfriend. I think they must have just thought it was a funny thing. Yeah. Like, you know, because he was older. Yeah. But um, I thought that was funny. Yeah. Oh, send, send her a song on Valentine's Day. I promise you, getting embarrassed is a choice. Like, yeah. you... It, I don't know. It's kind of like... Even if somebody's laughing at you, you could still laugh along and then just, yeah. like, choose not to care about it. Yeah, the humour of it is great. So, like, now when I think of when really embarrassing things happen to me, like, I I, I think it's great because I'm like, that's a funny story. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yes. everyone, like, it's so relatable. Embarrassing yourself is so relatable that, like, if you share embarrassing stories with someone else, they'll be like, oh, yeah, this happened to me. And it's, like, a way yes. to get deeper with someone. And it's, it's like... The, the thing is, it's like, for example, I was staying with uh, my friends in Portugal and I thought, I really need a poo. And like, I was staying with them and they only had one bathroom. Yeah. And I thought I could embarrass myself by going into the bathroom, destroying the toilet, leaving an awful smell and then pretending nothing happened. Yeah. Which would be a little bit embarrassing, yeah. I guess, because I'd be like waiting if someone saw and then nobody says anything. Yeah. So right before I went to the toilet, I said, guys... Does anybody need the toilet? Because I'm going to destroy it. Oh, my God. Literally. Because <laughs> I'm like... way better, though. It's Because I was like, it's straight up. There was five of us in the apartment. There was yeah. one bathroom. Somebody was going to use that bathroom and get gassed. Yeah. So I thought... <laughs> get gassed. <laughs> so I thought, I will save everybody the problem and I'll break the ice. Yeah. And if they respond bad, then I never really have to see them again. Because that's what I mean is like... The the feeling of like I just took a poop is fine. It was tactical, and yeah. then seeing someone going in right after and you're, you're like, like, no, no, please don't please do don't. this to yeah. me. But more importantly, to yourself. Yes, like. exactly. So it's like I'm just gonna save the pain, yeah. and I'm just gonna Announce. let everybody know. Yeah, ring a bell. And I guess what shush. happened? Guess yeah. what happened that evening? One of the guys gets up and goes, 
anybody need the bathroom? Oh, so you started a trend. Yes. Yeah, and so then, now it's going to start on here now. Like, literally. Yeah. So it's like, if you genuinely want to see if somebody is your friend, unless you're like super posh and that's well, not, not what you do. Or I need to take but a like, poo. I need a shit. Does anybody mind? <laughs> oh, thank you. But goodbye. No, but like, you could literally just... I the way that I make friends and yeah. and try to suss out whether we would get on with someone is like I tell them something an embarrassing story about yeah. myself and if they don't take it well and they don't hit back with another story then I know that yeah this person's too serious for me that's true because that's literally when your friends from Portugal came that's lit I like the fart incident walking into your house happened and I just told them straight away and then we were back and yeah. forth laughing for like I swear like an hour just sharing stories and it was just like a really nice moment yes. and I just met them like you know exactly so it was, it was really nice so yeah if you're share stories guys embarrass no, yourself same happened like when I met Toots I literally the first thing I said to her was oh I literally shot myself once and then she <laughs> and she was like no way and she was like I threw up in this like really embarrassing place yeah. and then we just kept going yeah. and we shared all of the most embarrassing things and then I ended up staying with her and her partner oh, and, I was, that's so cool. and that's when I w- announced I was going to the toilet and no one was like Bothered, alarmed they were like she literally introduced herself that by way. shitting yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like that she's a shitter so i just want to say that like you know maggie doesn't only just talk about pooping like she does talk about 90 percent of the time ten, there is 10 percent of the time when i talk about other stuff yeah yeah but everybody's used to it it's made me more comfortable for yes sure. <laughs> honestly like whenever somebody comes over to to the flat i'm like yeah. I, again, I break the ice by saying, you can do whatever, like, feel at home. If you need a shit, go for it. Like, <laughs> and people have done it. Welcome to my flat. People <laughs> have full on comfortably taken a dump. And I'm like, I'm so happy and proud that people feel comfortable enough around my company. Yeah. And don't, because that is kind of embarrassing. Like, it, it will only be embarrassing because yeah. you're, it's such a shh. Like, oh, oh but God. also your bathroom is great because it's like the toilet isn't right by the door where you go to other people's houses and it's like a fucking closet for a bathroom. Oh. No offense to them, but like, <laughs> and like, you know, if anyone walks down this hallway, they're going the to hear sm- me shit. Yeah. Like it's. Yeah, I was like, the smell, the oh sm- no, okay, and that here. as well. Like, oh my god, the fucking smell. And we have a window that opens, yeah. so <laughs> that opens, and you've got like candles and a lighter as well. Like, it's the best pooping I've got experience everything. ever. We've got books. Yeah. We have magazines. Yeah, we have all the toilet paper you might need. We have everything for a sh- <laughs> like for a shitty experience you might need. <laughs> yeah. On that note, on this shitty note, yeah, I think <laughs> we're going on a fucking tangent. Shit <laughs> if you have an embarrassing story that you would be comfortable for us to share and read out as well, please send it our way because we would love to hear your story. Or if you just wanna, if you relate to any of the stories that we've said and you just wanna share them with us and let yeah. us know that this happened to you as well, so we don't feel so alone. Yeah. Yeah, please, if you've thrown up in front of everybody in the club, <laughs> ripped your pants. Yeah, if you've ripped your... <laughs> Farted in someone's face. Oh my... <laughs> then Any please, of these things. The, the, if those stories sound familiar, please message us and tell us that you've been in the same boat so we feel better about yeah. it yeah <laughs> and also if you have any other stories that you want to share with us please we've got our email that we'll link below and also put here send us an email with your story and you know you might be a potential guest yes yeah. we've already well actually we're in the future we're gonna have a listener Yes, oh, because yeah. this is still season one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Obviously, if you're watching this as well, we're on a couch. We bought a couch for our studio. But yeah, this is the end of season, season one. one. This is the last episode. Yeah, this is the last episode. <gasps> what an episode to end oh on. I hope you guys have had fun. Yes. Like, yeah, Thank you season... for being on this journey. We, it's I been, know. honestly, the craziest journey yeah. for season one. The amount of things that have happened, the mm. amount of information we found out about people. Yeah. That I never thought I would have to deal with. Exactly. Like, being on this business journey with my bestie. Bitch, Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking awesome. Yeah. It's so cool. Like, actually, yeah, give me a quick thought on, like, what did you gain? Like, what did you think yeah, of season one? Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I've said this so many times. Like, I have learned so much. Like, I've learned 
so much about myself, but also like about like other people and just like listening better and kind of, yeah, just the things you can learn from people just sharing stories, even people we've had on the podcast who are like, I don't have any stories. Yeah. We'll have the, some of the most craziest experiences or they'll say the most profound thing that like literally has shaken me to the core. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I really, I obviously our intention for the podcast was to, you know, share experiences to know people on a different level and grow. But like, I just didn't expect the length of myself to grow as a person yes. from this. Like, I yeah. thought it'd be a laugh. But in reality, like, it, this podcast has changed my life. And I, you know, I hope in some ways that yeah. it has affected y'all's lives in a positive way, like all of our listeners. And you've learned and you've been able to, like, you know, hear some new perspectives. Yes, if you have been from, been here from episode one, yeah. or even if you're joining on this last episode go back and listen to it and if you don't then season two is going to be so fucking good yeah season two is it's so amazing exciting and yeah this journey has been absolutely incredible i cannot believe i found something that i absolutely truly love yeah it's my genuine true passion like whenever i would go to work i would always feel so empty yeah whenever i would like you know when i worked in a hotel or something i would always feel like drained and exhausted and, yeah. and feel like surely there is more to life surely I can do something more um impactful mm. so I just hope that we have some sort of impact you know like yeah a positive impact on people and that's why we genuinely really want people to send in stories mm. so then they can sh share their experiences because we you know We've lived a certain amount of time on this planet yeah. and our stories will be, you know, like... Limited. We, yeah, <laughs> like, that's the thing. It's like we yeah. go through certain experiences, but then that's where it really ends. And then yeah. that's your perception of something. But mm. yeah, so send something in. Yeah. Tell us your story, no matter what it is, whether it's serious or funny. Yeah, like what you think is probably nothing will be like, will have essence to it. So like, yes. let us hear your essence exactly yeah. so, um no honestly i'm i'm absolutely buzzing like i i'm just so happy that we've like yeah found this thing that feels like my calling your calling like and i have to i get to do it with you maggie who is my best friend love you love you oh little pop on my spine <laughs> um pop, pop. yeah but yes on this note oh yeah um, before before as well oh, um oh. so in between in between so we're gonna have an in between series as well yes yeah so check it out um we are going to attempt we're in the trial phases at the moment to attempt mm -hmm. to make it an audio version but it will be really fun to watch on youtube it's going to be called no one's a stranger so mm -hmm. basically we take <clears throat> Basically, we take this podcast to the streets yeah. and we ask strangers really deep and meaningful questions. And, you know, because essentially no one's a stranger. We're all here on this earth having these life experiences and trying to see if we connect with strangers the way we do in studio. Yes. So check it out. So they'll be on YouTube, TikTok, like Instagram, all of this. And we will be trying to make this into a fun audio version as well. Exactly. So you never get to miss a week. Yeah. We will always In between be here season. With you guys. It's just season one is ending. Mm. Then we'll have the No One's a Stranger in yeah. between series. So you never get to miss out. And then we'll be back with season two. Yeah, exactly. So don't. Don't get scared. We're coming back with a bang. I was so scared. I was so scared. You guys were never going to come back. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But, um, and if you don't already, um, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe. It really helps us, um, you know, grow and become better and more more people can see our content yes, as well. Yes, we, we do upload. We upload everything everywhere. We're on TikTok. We're on yeah. Instagram. We're on on YouTube, we've got shorts. Yeah. So if you literally just want to watch 10 minutes of the video, we've got that for Boom. you. You want to watch the whole thing? We got you. Exactly. And you want to watch it in a one minute clip? We got you as Boom. well. <laughs> yeah. Sales women. Exactly. <laughs> Follow us on everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So. Um, oh, yeah. Patreon yeah. as well. We're on oh, Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. And these episodes, every single episode is 
like a lot longer on Patreon. So if you're like, wow, season one has ended, I would like to maybe go back and listen to them or something, then we've got Patreon and you can listen to even more stories that we read out, that we share. Some of them are extremely personal that we put only on the Patreon. So really have a look because you're not going to be missing out even while we have our break during season two, season one. Yeah, so check out Patreon. And it's £2 a month, which is, you know, if you would buy us a coffee in real life and watch us share it, then please watch us <laughs> have a sip. Now yeah. you have a sip. <laughs> then subscribe to our Patreon where you can have two pounds a month for all this extended content. So and yeah. thank you so much to all of the patrons that yeah, have bro. already joined us. Love you. Honestly, like this is our full time job. Yeah, so thank you us. so much for the for the support. Yeah. And appreciate it. Yeah, we love you guys. Thank you we so much for you. watching. Thank you for listening. Yeah. And we'll see you in season two. See well, you. See you in No One's a Stranger. <laughs> yeah, No One's a Stranger. The in-between series. But yeah, thank the you so much. <laughs> Looking forward to season two. High five. We fucking did it. High five three times. Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and if you didn't get that, it's in the Patreon version. I was like... <laughs> right. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. It kind of hurts my heart thinking that, like, season one's over in a way. Like, that's how babies. I know. That's what it feels like. It was kind of like, oh, I'm going to, like, you know, I'm going to get emotional. I mean, it's not like we're going away. We're we're coming back. Like, yeah. But also...